Yes, my name is Anubhav Vadva. I'm a 16-year-old technology entrepreneur, computer programmer, big data analyst, and uh, bottom of the pyramid, sustainable development activist. Well, more than anything else, I'm a tire man. In the next 10 minutes, I hope to change your views about tires and pollution. Well, one day when I was coming back from a class in 2015, I saw a dozen tires piled by the side of a road. 200 meters passed and the same situation. Only difference being that this time, someone was also burning them. I could see fumes rising and um, could realize that the environmental impact of this could be disastrous. And that was the birth of Tirelessly, India's first Tires to Trees initiative. Tirelessly is meant to be a game changer. What began as a series of conversations in the spring of 2015 was a completed business plan by the fall of 2015. In January 2016, we rolled out one of our first pilots. Now, by following a few simple steps on the website, vehicle owners can choose to have their vehicle's end-of-life tires safely disposed. Collection of tires is taken care of through the online platform, while uh, users are also notified after disposal. Tire Leslie is for all citizens of India. A child with a bicycle or an adult with end-of-life tires of his truck, SUV or car. Tirelessly is for everyone. Environmentally conscious motorists are being given the chance to take the tireless road to sustainable environment for the very first time. The goal of Tirelessly is to inspire smarter choices for a more sustainable living. I believe that individual actions such as recycling or learning about greener ways to dispose can all add up to a huge impact for the environment. However, one cannot do this alone. To, to improve our recovery statistics, India needs community participation. At Tirelessly, we hope to partner with you, municipalities, communities, waste haulers, and national brands to reach out to people and motivate millions of people to join our uh, movement in, for a sustainable living. In India, about 100 million tires require recycling annually. That's about 275,000 tires or 675 shipping containers or 2,500 tons each day. Less than 5% of this is recycled with the, while the rest is, um, remains to be subjected to unsafe disposal. And um, more than anything else, India needs grassroots level awareness to promote energy recovery and material recovery of end-of-life tires. While it began as my dream, it wasn't long before others came to help. My aim with Tirelessly is to, by recycling 1 million tires, save a million square yards save a million square yards of uh, landfill space, eliminate tons of carbon dioxide that is released into the environment due to irresponsible burning of tires. At Tirelessly, we aim to reach 100 communities and uh, motivate a million members, get them on board and uh, take a move towards sustainable living. So I urge all of you to check out those tires that have been piling up in your garages, your terraces. All of them can be used to remake premium quality rubber, which can be used for synthetic sports fields, construction, adhesives, resins, non-slip pavings, and mats. Each tire that is disposed of will offset at least one week's carbon emissions. So now Tirelessly is on a mission to implement the polluter pays principle. The polluter pays principle has two approaches, one being command and control through technology and performance, and the second one being environmental regulations for market-based uh, policy. Ty um, this morning at the airport, I uh, saw, c I, I was feeling thirsty and ordered a can of Coke. Um, after it got over, I walked to the dustbin very, very responsibly and dumped it right there. Well, I'm not a polluter anymore, am I? Yes, of course I am. I am a polluter because I, I don't know where, the ta where that can will go. I don't know if it was safely disposed or not. So, being a polluter does not always mean necessarily mean that you dump your waste by the side of the road. We are all polluters in some way or the other by using non-biodegradable materials and not making sure how they are safely disposed. So, um, with the launch of polluter pays principle, I'm not urging um, citizens of our country to start opening their wallets and uh, trading money for the responsibility of their waste, their tires. Our polluter waste principle is very simple. 
we are simply asking you to forego a little amount of money you would usually receive when you trade in your tires. That's the whole idea of our polluter price principle. Usually, uh, uh, every 20 people I talk to about tirelessly, about 19 of them stand up and uh, show their willingness to participate, while one of them will stand up in the crowd, do the, exactly the same, show his part, uh, willingness to participate, but do one thing different, and that is pose a simple question. What about the few others who really, really care about the money? Well, I do have a simple answer for this. Uh, the business models change, but we are really looking forward to community participation. But sometimes I ask, why? Why do business models need to change, and why should the polluter not pay? Why should, so why should the polluter not pay? Each, uh, by polluter paying, it doesn't necessarily mean that the polluter needs to exchange money. It can sometimes obviously be just foregoing something. So why can the polluter not pay? It's important now that we accept this and realize that it's, uh, it's our responsibility and we need to start paying for our pollution. So it's important we polluters must pay and uh, or in this case or in some other cases polluter must forego something. Every day I hear about another use of old tires which promises to be the best thing since sliced bread. Well, most of them are not practical because it does not only need to be sustainable, but also economically viable. And historically, the industry has been facing what economists call a market failure when it comes to resource recovery. Um, every, every day, uh, that's what I hear. And um, when com companies across the globe are racing to reach Mars, we here at Tire Leslie are here to change the sustainable development paradigm forever. While Tirelessly operates on a clear business model, we are an impact-driven company at heart. Our core business shall always be to get end-of-life tires and safely dispose them. But I want to do a lot more, our company wants to do a lot more, so we should do a lot more. And that's why we are going to expand, we are going to build up solid, efficient logistics and chains, which can in the future be used to launch uh, new environmental sustainability projects and uh, in the course of time this can really change the ecosystem of environmental technology startups in in our country while tirelessly has been launched in delhi and cr initially we will be reaching communities all, all across india tirelessly is looking out to you reaching out to you for doing this tirelessly is also ready to go door to door and change india's record of recycling forever so when I started working, um, at the age of 13, no one was willing to listen to me. Now, at the age of 16, I really think people have started to take me seriously. And I started my journey to make sure technology is used more than ever for all the right reasons. Each experience I've had with technology has always been my biggest inspiration, from using a laptop at four to even using a new app just yesterday. All of these are my exposures, my revelations, sometimes even my textbooks. Each incident has just brought me closer to my desire to continue on my journey, my passion stronger. I've lived in Gurgaon all my life, and I've been an IV student at Pathways World School In 2013, I launched my first venture named TechApto, which was selected out of 600 startups, made it to top 40 in India, which translated to top 10 in Delhi NCR. wherein I was, uh, asked to, I was asked to present my venture, business plan, landscape, and industry approach to an angel investor team. Um, I, feel really for, I feel like I'm one of the fortunate ones to have uh, of, of being in, with a lot of great people. I attribute all my personal growth to my alma mater, my family, my friends. Um, through the years, I've been extensively covered by various newspapers, ranging from the Times of India, the Hindu, Hindustan Times, Dainik Jagran, and um, recently I was also part of one of um, America Innovation Foundation and the Better India's video series named India Innovates, which attempts to bring out some of the most brilliant stories of our nation. No one is willing to listen to a 14-year-old with an idea. <laughs> Uh, 
I've always been really fascinated by the endless solutions technology can give us to solve some of the world's biggest problems. And that's the idea behind Tirelessly. There are 100 million rubber tires which reach their end of life state in India every year. However, 95% of the volume is disposed in an unsafe way and contributes to pollution. So Tirelessly is a simple concept. Tirelessly um, is a plat location-based platform for aggregating end-of-life tires. All you need to do is log into the platform on any device and inform us if you have an end-of-life tire handy. Our team will get the end-of-life tire picked up from your location. If you have a device connected to the internet handy, you can take the tireless road to sustainable development. Is that your brand tagline? Yes. <laughs> Who came up with it? Me. <laughs> He's always on the quest to do something innovative, something new. Whether he's in the middle school or in the primary school, currently in senior school, at every year, every benchmark that he crossed in the school, it's, he did it with difference. In uh, 2013, he was named as one of the uh, NS CEOs in India when he founded his own company. I think it was here when he was about four years. I think we were trying to set up a Wi-Fi system at home and I was struggling. Then I suddenly said, look, uh, can I help you? you know, for a four-year-old kid, I said, look, you rubbish it, you know. He took away the system and he configured the modem on his own. And I don't know from where he got that, but uh, I think that was the, that was a big, strong revelation to me that, you know, the guy's got some spark. I consult for a few companies now. In fact, I'm designing a financial platform for a company that has over 300 employees. So I guess people are starting to take me seriously. <laughs> the idea behind everything I do is to use technology innovatively and make the world a better place to live in. So the polluter needs to pay because each, every little amount of money you forego will help me get my service to another part, another person living in the country will help me get my, develop better sustainable solutions for the environment. So, um, also, the little amount of money, if you're willing to forego, the impact is, is tremendous. If we are not looking forward to the exchange bonus we receive when we exchange in our tires, we, you, we are motivated to use a little less amount of tires. We, and in the long run, we're, losing, we're using quite a lot of less tires. So I hope I've changed the way you will think about tires and pollution from now onwards. The polluter must pay, and the polluter must pay because that way we can all drive a huge change for our environment. If you have an end-of-life tire with you, give it to me, give it to Tire Leslie. It's my stuff. I'll make sure I can use it. I, when I use it, I'll, I can drive a sustainable change across the country. As a part of my objective to contribute towards fulfillment of sustainable development goals, I believe in corroborative participation uh, by deployment of uh, technology platforms across sectors. Techno sustainable development is a way forward, and my companion, as I continue driving through my journey to create a huge change and make technology popular for all the right reasons. Signing off now, tirelessly yours. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> <laughs>